Well, welcome back to uh, Gardener's Cottage and uh, the follow-up on the lemon trees that we treated with the spray neem oil about a week and a half ago. Now I've been quite impressed with the, the results of this. I'm going to show you uh, how effective it's been. Not 100% removing absolutely every single scale insect on these plants, but it's killed the vast majority of them and we certainly haven't got the degree of infection that we had before. Do you see here along the vein of the back of this leaf which has got these dried up little scale insects. I don't think these are alive or active anymore. I think that is the effect of the neem oil. Here's another example of that. You see these rather desiccated looking little insects that rub off really really easily and uh, I don't think these are active anymore. I think these are dead but still adherent to the leaves, but these should uh, come away and they're certainly not producing any stickiness or any residue that you can see forming on the leaves below them. Now, here's an example of what I think is still active. Much more juicy looking. Let me get that in focus for you. There we go. Um, see the striation in the actual uh, insects themselves? Well, that one was definitely dry. Maybe these are dead. That one just looked a, a lot juicier, but I think actually looking at these, it's been more effective than I thought. Now, because you're applying this directly onto the leaf surface and uh, it's not a systemic insecticide. Oh, here's another example. Let me just show you this. This just goes to show how heavily infected this particular plant was when we applied the treatment. But again, these are all just rubbing off very, very easily. And if any of you have had scale insects on your uh, citrus, you'll know that when they're active and alive, when you just rub across them like this, they don't move at all. They are stuck quite rigidly onto the leaves. I did find an example which I was hoping to film of an area that I thought I may have missed. Let me just see if I can find that. There again, look, a heavily infected underside of the leaf. But again, these are just wiping off with my finger. These ones here, more adherent, suggest that they may still be active and you need to use your fingernail to remove those. But I think the majority of these are killed. The neem oil has uh, seen them off. Ah, now look, here's an area that I've missed. you see the difference? Let me get that in focus for you. Much lighter, thicker scale insects, not coming away when I move my fingers over them. And when you squish them, they're really quite juicy and moist. Whereas the brown ones that have been affected by the neem oil oh, is a great example. Just look at that load. See the difference between the brown ones and the light green ones? All these, I think, are still active and alive. You need to use your fingernail to remove these. But a further spray with the neem oil, I think, would be really effective. And a treatment I'm planning to use on here is to periodically just examine the leaves Watch out for black or red ants, which are a really good marker for active scale insects. They tend to farm them and encourage the uh, secretions, which they just love to eat. Sweet juiciness. It's uh, nectar to ants, really. And we'll spray them probably fortnightly or monthly, depending on how we get on with these. You'll see they're in the polytunnel at the moment that we've put up uh, on the paddocks. Not yet really guaranteed frost free here in Norfolk so I'm not risking putting them out just yet. We've got a lot of nice new tender growth on these which is growing away. I've started feeding these two particular plants intensively with a tomato uh, liquid feed to try and encourage them to come into flower because they haven't done so so far this year. They've really suffered where we've had them from insufficient light and uh, the scale insects have really stripped them of any vigour that the plants or trees have had. But there's still time to set some fruit this year. The two smaller trees that we had in the adjacent barn did much better. You can see these came into flower really well. We got some good quality small fruit set on these. Another one there that I'm happy with. So we're just feeding these again. They've been treated with the neem oil. Doesn't seem to have had any bad effects on the leaf very pleasant stuff to use. I thought, you know, not having bought it before, it was going to be really stinky, greasy and smelly, but it's the uh, best example I can give you is it's not got a strong odour, it's just like spraying on a vegetable-based oil or a chip oil that you've fried your chips in. It's got that sort of slightly cooked-in-used smell, but it's not offensive 
and uh, doesn't coat the leaves particularly. Again on these plants you see the clues there I've got these little ants crawling along here so I'm just going to check the underside on this one. Actually looks quite clean but they're usually a good indicator that there'll be some scale insects somewhere on this branch that they're exploring and uh, looking after. Can't actually see any but that's always a good indicator to start having a look. Well look there's a huge great big one there. See that? That thing. I think it's probably dead. No juice in it at all which is a good again indicator that it's hopefully been killed by the kneeling. But sometimes you can get very large examples of these insects that are almost impossible to see living on the thick stems and it's always worth just tracing your finger trying to avoid some of the spikes that these lemon trees put out and just squishing any of the larger mature examples because they will be laying eggs and breeding like stink but again I've got ants on these ones you see again suggesting I've still probably got some active scale insects somewhere on this branch so again I'm going to mix up another load 10% with some warm water and a little bit of detergent just to help it uh, make a solution and then we'll respray these in situ where they're sitting in this polytunnel and they'll be in here probably leave them in here until um, last week in May which we're not that far off to be honest but I think if uh, it helps them and we're not pushed for the space to get tomatoes in which is still quite embryonic I've started planting some out here again in an unheated polytunnel you're pushing your luck in mid-May that these don't get uh, knocked back by frosts but we'll see how we go with these and I'm very encouraged and would encourage you if you've got any scale insect uh, issues with your scale uh, sorry, your citrus plants of any description, whether they be lemons, grapefruits or orange or tangerine plants, to give it a go. It's very easy to use, non-offensive and seems to be very effective. Thanks for watching.